Okay, so hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, hi! My name is Liz, thank you so much for clicking on this video today. This is a different one for me, as you can tell by the title. It's Sunday, it's Self Care Sunday. So, I'm going to be doing a new series on my channel which is called Self Care Sunday. And it's going to be involving skincare, self love, hair care, bit of makeup just some advice, maybe some chatty videos, just a chilled Sunday because we all know Sundays are for chilling, relaxing, taking care of yourself, maybe a pamper day now and then. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my Sundays specials. Sunday specials, love that. But I come up with the idea of maybe doing a series on my channel on Sundays just to help you guys relax chill whilst in isolation because if you're like me and you're getting a little bit a little bit you know delusional then this is going to help you just chill relax sit down take a breath and breathe <sighs> literally so as you can tell i have nothing zero on my face at the moment that is because this is episode one episode one are we calling them episodes now i don't know uh, this is going to be my daily skincare routine, so it's going to be like an in-depth talking about every product I use or might use and talking about why I use them in-depth and obviously what they do. Uh, just to begin with as well, make sure to thumbs up this video if you enjoy it, if you are looking forward to my self-care Sundays. I know a lot of people have done like stuff like this, but I wanted to make it into a series. Again, just to have some way to go and chill. First, I'm going to start off by saying I do have dry combination skin. So if that helps you out at all, then obviously it's good to know what people's skins are if you're going to watch videos, obviously. Because I don't want you to buy certain products in this video if you are like very oily. But I will say some alternatives. Um, and just an FYI, I do work for Clinique, the brand Clinique, which is a very popular skincare slash makeup brand so all opinions are my own nothing to do with the brand or anything there are quite a few products of course from Clinique come on who's not going to use their own brand that they work for yeah but I have to admit all my opinions are my own I will tell you if I don't like a product but obviously why would I use it if I don't like it so all these products I'm using today I like so or even love but let's just Get into the video. In the mornings, to start off my skincare routine, I sometimes cleanse my skin, but sometimes I don't. Sometimes I feel like I don't need to cleanse my skin because I feel like the products that I'm using in the evening, which I do use separate products, so, well, slightly different products, so I will maybe do a nighttime routine if you want to see that. Let me know in the comments. So I do like to let the night skincare still cleanse and do its own thing on my skin throughout the day as well, because I feel like, why not? And of course I do have dry combination skin, so it does help to keep that moisture in my face than taking it off. But if I do have them oily days, um, because my chin does get a little bit oily and around my nose, I do cleanse a little bit using either some micellar water or the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm, which is amazing. I'll probably go more in depth with that on my nighttime routine. I'm braving the bare face today. Um, I don't normally go like completely bare face on my channel. I normally like full glam makeup. But to start off with, if I don't cleanse my skin, I go in with the Clinique Clarifying Lotion, number two. Now, I'll tell you the difference with the numbers in a second, but I use this to exfoliate. People get a lot of confusion on what's the difference with this and a toner. I don't really know. This is more, I think a toner normally, like, what's the word? like takes everything off your skin so it like sweeps every product every oh, I don't know the word it 
takes off everything basically. But a clarifying lotion is a exfoliator, it's not a toner. People get very confused, I had a client come in before asking for a toner and I said do you mean the clarifying lotion because we do not sell a toner and she was like no it's not a lotion. I was like okay I'll just show you the product. So I grabbed this, she was like oh yeah that's that's the one. I was like yeah I know. <laughs> you have your funny moments. But anyway I have number two because I am dry combination. So number one, well, we have a 1.0, which is for um, like sensitive skin. So it has no alcohol in there. I'll tell you why it has alcohol in a second. And um, we have number one, which is for very dry skin. And then number two, of course, dry combination. Then number three, which is combination oily. And then we have number four, which is very oily. So dependent on your skin type, I have number two just because I'm dry combination. You're going to hear that a lot throughout this video probably. So I apologise now. Maybe count how many times I say dry or dry combination. Um, so that's the purple one. So the number one is green. This one's purple. Number three is pink or like a ready pink. And then number four is blue. It sweeps away pollution, excess oil, and it smooths the skin as well. So it helps when you apply added products, so like serum, moisturiser, even foundation, it can help obviously get rid of the excess, excess flaky skin. And obviously it just helps smooth the skin. And I do find it's a very, makes a very big difference if I don't use this. I sometimes only use this in the evening if I feel like my skin doesn't need it. But like I said, it has alcohol in it. Now alcohol, people think that it's really bad for your skin. I mean, it's not the best thing for your skin, but it gets rid of dirt and it gets stuff out of pores and um, that's what this helps with as well. So if you have oily skin, it's going to help get all that dirt out of the pores and it's going to really clear the skin for, like I said, extra products application. I'm going to pull it down because I feel like I'm weaving it everywhere. So like I said, it gets rid of flaky skin and that helps with moisture barrier. So if you had flaky skin, it can act as a barrier so the moisture isn't going into the skin as much as it should. Um, so this helps with the moisture adapting to the skin and getting it really in there, especially if you have dry skin like me. So that is step one. So we're going to apply that now if I have a... So you would just apply it with a cotton pad. I would not advise this with your hands. I have the massive size. So I had this at Christmas. They normally come out with these at Christmas. This is the 484ml. You can either get 200ml or 400ml. Um, but this one comes with like the pump, so you just press it, so I press it twice, or you tip it twice, that's what I recommend. And you just swipe it. I mainly focus on my T-zone to start off with, and then I go around the other parts of my face. It is quite a strong scent. Also, just to let you know, Clinique products are paraben free. What's the other one? I always struggle to say this one. I think it's phthalate. Phthalate, I believe. You can see, just a warning, do it. You can see there, I did do a makeup look yesterday, and you can see there the excess dirt that's just come off my face. So it's really good at getting off dirt and oil. So I do take it down the neck as well with everything I use I take it down the neck because the neck ages just as fast as the skin on your face. Oh, and it's free of fragrance as well just to let you know because my skin hates fragrance so that's another reason why I love working for Clinique because my skin is so sensitive. So now serum. So I have two serums to show you just depending on how I'm feeling that day or well, I'll apply one in the evening and I'll apply the other one in the day. First of all the Clinique Repair Wear Laser Focus Smooths, Restores and Correct Serum. So this is for all skin types, so you can use it whatever skin you have. So it smooths the look of your skin, which is amazing. It is mainly um, focused of like 
more aging skin which is perfect for me because I am 25 next year so I want to start stopping the aging as quickly as possible um, and yes believe it or not I am 25 next year you wouldn't believe it would you it helps with texture I have wrote some notes down here so that's why I'm looking down there um, and it helps plump the skin so expression lines don't visibly show as much as they would so it visibly reduces the appearance of lines which is amazing because I don't know if you notice that in my videos or my photos on Instagram go follow me um I do have a lot of well I have these two lines on my forehead which are very prominent and you can see when I put foundation on and then I try and set it but you can still see it and I do have quite textured kind of skin not major but there's a little bit. It's got Clarisage and Glucosamine, main, Glucosamine, Glucosamine, I believe. It is a pain when I'm trying to tell clients the names of ingredients because you know what lab names are like, uh, like ingredients and stuff. They're hard. They're very long and just unnecessary. Um, those two ingredients help exfoliate the skin. So even though we've gone in with the clarifying lotion to exfoliate, this is going to exfoliate as well, but it's not like, you know, when you go in the shower and you exfoliate your skin with like that harsh, like salt, um, salt exfoliator. It's not like that at all. It's just like a light layer of, do you know what I mean? I hope I'm explaining this right. So that's this one here. So that one's more for aging and like, you know, lines and wrinkles, not lines and wrinkles, like aging lines. It looks for that and more like texture and smooths the skin and then when I'm feeling extra dry I use the finally not a clinic product um, the revolution 2% hyaluronic acid serum so this helps improve skin's hydration which is amazing again for me when my forehead is mainly the culprit of the dry skin at the moment. It's got obviously hyaluronic acid which attracts moisture to the skin. The skin surface, surface, not surface, surface. So it will help smooth and ease the tight feeling that you get if you do have dry skin. Then you'll know that throughout the day if you don't apply anything then your skin will start to feel a little bit tight like mine is feeling a little bit tight at the moment because we went in with that clarifying lotion it obviously um kind of cleansed the skin a little bit obviously exfoliated it and it's feeling a little bit tight at the moment so a hydrating base will really help with that it's lightweight it's oil free alcohol free, paraben free, gluten free and it's actually vegan and cruelty free which is amazing. That's why I love also using Revolution products because they don't have any bad products in there um, like parabens and stuff like that, like Clinique. That's why they're my two favourite brands of skincare. It's a lightweight serum which is amazing because it sinks into the skin really nicely and quickly because I am the type of person that can't wait around you know I can't wait around it leaves the skin feeling silky soft and looking healthier which of course is going to be the hyaluronic acid in there helping with the healthy looking glow now this is a tricky one do I which one do I use I to be honest normally use this one in the evening because then the hyaluronic acid really sinks into my skin whilst I'm sleeping so I'm going to go in with this one today um, but like I said, it really varies which one I use. So I'm going to go in with the Clinique um, Repair Wear Laser Focus. And you only need three to four drops uh, twice a day. So I'm just going to rub that again in my palm. I do apply it to my eyes. Because serum really helps uh, smooth the eye area out. Okay, so next you can either go in with face moisturiser or eye cream, depending which one you prefer to apply first. I normally go in with eye cream. I Don't ask me why, because I don't know. Um, I do mm, sometimes use a darkening, dark circles cream, but I've run out. So I would really recommend the All About Eyes from Clinique. That is amazing. Um, as you can see, I do have, we're going to get up close and personal now, this is brave of me, 
Um, I do have very dark circles under my eyes, so I probably should buy some. Yeah, but that's a really nice one. It helps with smoothing under the eyes and obviously helping with dark circles and it helps with fine lines and wrinkles as well. So you're getting a lot of benefits and it's quite a lightweight hydrating one as well. So I'll pop that on the screen right now so you can see what that looks like. I'll also link everything I use and mention in the description box below or even just ask me a question if you have one in the comments. But Today I'm going to go in with the teeny tiny one that I have here. I got this when we were on gift, but I really do need to buy one because it's so good. Um, I'm going to take a breather. So this is the Clinique Moisture Surge Eye Cream, the 96 hour Hydro Filler Concentrate. So this is a very lightweight gel, like water gel texture. So it's very lightweight into the eyes. It's really going to help replenish its own moisture barrier it's own moisture for 96 hours which is amazing and it works even if you wash your face which again i find is amazing i don't know if you've seen any of my previous makeup tutorial videos but i explained that i do get a little bit of eczema on my eyelids sometimes so this one is really going to help with hydrating that and obviously getting rid of it not getting rid of it but like easing the itchiness because it is going to hydrate. It instantly refloods and tightens and brightens the skin under the eyes. So it's not going to help with the coals which is a bummer for me but I love this to hydrate under my eyes. So like I said I do get quite dry areas on my eyes so I use this to help. It's for all skin types so that's amazing. It can be used alone or under makeup or you could use even use it for a three minute eye mask, which is again, amazing. So I'm only gonna take a pea size amount of that on my finger and I'm taking my ring finger because all your other fingers, on your hand, I was gonna say, all your other fingers are a little bit too harsh for under the eyes. It does have beads in there, so try and pop them before you apply it to the face because you don't wanna get any of that in your eye. But I just gently pat and smooth. As you can see, I'm not tugging under my eyes. I'm just going around. And of course, on my eyelids. So can you see how, obviously, water-like it is? And it really is so refreshing. You can feel the cool, the coolness of it on the under eyes now. So that is a really, really nice one. I really recommend that, absolutely. Okay, so next is step three. If you do use cleanser, then it would be step four. Also, another good tip is water. Definitely drink water if you want nice, clear skin because it really does help. So the first moisturizer I have to show you is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. Now, again, we have different ones. I say we, Clinique have, I'm so used to saying that because obviously I work on counter. So there are different ones. So there's a lotion for dry combination skin, like me. Then we have the gel, which is the same colour, it's yellow, that's why people get very confused. Um, which is for oily, com or combination oily, which is oil free, which is amazing for you oily people out there. And then we have a jelly, which is obviously like a gel type, sort of like the eye cream I showed you. It's like a water-based jelly, which is clear. Um, and that's for all skin types. So it just depends what texture you'd prefer. If you'd prefer a lotion or a gel. They also have the um, ID now, where you can add like a serum into it, um, which I'll pop on the screen now which is amazing because you can add in like an extra benefit like if you have irritation or fatigue or fine lines and wrinkles or pores, anything. A little bit of information about this and then I'll tell you about the other one I have. So this hydrates all day. So really I use this one if I'm not going to be wearing any makeup because it gives my skin a chance to breathe and helps obviously give it hydration all day. So it does its job. Um, it absorbs really quickly, which is amazing. It helps restore its own moisture barrier, which is amazing again. So the moisture stays in a lot longer 
on the skin. It gives you a youthful looking glow, which is again amazing if you have dry skin. And obviously, if you have oily skin, it's not going to be, the gel isn't going to make you look oily. It's just going to let give you that instant lift and like glow from within sort of thing, but not greasy oily because it's oil free. So that's the benefit. It strengthens skin um, ingredients in there. So it's got sunflower seed, it's got barley, it's got um, cucumber extract and stuff like that. Why am I blurry? I normally use this when I'm having a makeup free day so my skin can be hydrated and stuff like that. And then one that I use very very often, as you can see I am running low on this. I mean it's not low but you can see that I've used it. This is the Moisture Surge 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator. So this is for all skin types, again, amazing. Um, but this is more of a lightweight gel cream. So you'll be able to see that it's more of like a gel texture, which is so nice because it feels so hydrating on the skin. It's so refreshing and I don't know, it just the cooling sensation of a gel cream makes it feel a little bit more hydrating. It works non-stop for 72 hours, even if you wash your face. So you're going to get that hydration for 72 hours, even if you wash your face, which is absolutely amazing. It quickly restores hydration and binds water to the skin. Yes, I have wrote some notes down, that's why I sound so technical. On a serious note, it is really, really nice. It is really good for the skin, helps restore proper moisture balance whilst helping to protect against environmental damage. So that's another positive with this cream. Some key ingredients it's got in there is caffeine to kickstart its own like water pump sort of thing, that's why we explain it like. It's like it's got its own pump and it pumps water into the skin and hydrates the skin throughout the day, obviously for 72 hours, which is three days? Three days. That's a lot of, that's a lot of days. That's a lot of hours. <laughs> it's also got activated aloe water, humectants, humect humectants, and hyaluronic acid, which attracts and locks in moisture. So again, hyaluronic acid is your friend if you have dry skin. Always look for hyaluronic acid in products if you have dry skin. It's really gonna help lock in moisture and really help absorb that moisture into your dry patches or your dry skin. Sorry, my camera cut me off. So that's the Moisture Surge. So I'm gonna go with the Moisture Surge today because I am gonna be doing a makeup look after this and I want my skin to be very hydrated for the next 72 hours. You don't need a lot either. And again, I'm gonna take it down the neck Oh, it feels so cooling. Amazing. I really like to press my moisturiser in as well. I don't know why. I find it does something. So that's Moisture Surge. Love that. It's probably my favourite. It's our best selling. Um, but I believe the Dramatically Different is the top UK's number one moisturiser, which is amazing. Okay, so I know I've been talking for a while now, but... Last but not least, you can't miss out lips. Now, my lips are ultra dry. I absolutely love the Dr. Paul Paul range. Now, I've been wanting to get this range for a while. I have the, the normal version and this version, and I also have minis, and I also have the, what is it? Uh, Shea Butter, I believe, which is the blue one, which is in the other room. But this one is really good for handbags. Now it's the, what is this called? The Natural Lip Sugar Scrub and, and Balm in a stackable pot to take anywhere two in one product. So it is for technically taking to places. So on the top you have a scrub, a lip scrub, and then you have the balm at the bottom there. So it just stacks. Stackable to get anywhere. So what I like to do first, I don't scrub my lips every single day, but on the days today, like today, I like to give them a good scrub. It smells good too. If you're like me and you have 
ultra dry lips all the time get your hands on this got no bad ingredients in it either um, I believe it's fragrance free just natural fragrance I believe Oh, I love scrubbing my lips. I feel like it plumps my lips as well. Another good tip for you with skincare is never use makeup wipes. I actually hate makeup wipes. They tug at your skin so badly. Um, just use a micellar water or the Take the Day Off Balm by Clinique because that is amazing. Now I'm going to add the normal lip balm part. So my lips normally go a little bit red after doing the scrub. So that's completely normal. Like I said, I have quite sensitive skin. So that's always gonna happen. So that is my full daily skincare routine. I hope it wasn't too long. I hope it wasn't too short. I hope it was in depth enough for you to learn something. Let me know down below if you did. Let me know down below as well if you want me to carry on with these videos. I really enjoyed it. It's something different for me than doing just makeup. But also let me know down below what you want to see from me, um, like any other series or anything or specific makeup looks or videos you want to see. I'd love to do them. I want to venture out a little bit more than just doing makeup because I love skincare, I love fashion, I love makeup obviously, but yeah, I'd love to venture out on different things and do what you guys want to see because I don't want to sit here and just do things that I want to film I want to do what you want to see so let me know down below like I said if you enjoyed make sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave just hit that red button I know you want to it's free and also a thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next one bye do we look good do we look good